All right, so today what we're gonna do is start building out a completely new AI SEO project using ChatGPT. And I'm gonna build out a brand new website from scratch publicly again, but when it comes to building the content, building the website, etc., we'll still use AI, but we'll use it with Google's guidelines as a public case study to see what's possible. And this is gonna be a fun one to work on because essentially, if you haven't seen it already, we receive some manual action penalties for building in public. And, and one I'm excited to show you now is how we're gonna build out a brand new AI SEO website from scratch and talk about some new strategies and techniques where you can do things a little bit cleaner and see if it actually ranks. And if it gets clapped again, that's totally fine with me as well because that would just be part of the journey, right? And you might say, well, why are you building a new website from scratch if your old one's got manual action penalty for being public case studies? Bear in mind, my own, it's only my public ones that got hit, my private ones are totally fine. Well, here's the thing, right? I think that for the content on my YouTube channel, if we're gonna show you interesting stuff, has to be actionable, right? We have to show over the screen stuff. I don't like to be one of those guests here who's telling you stuff, but not actually showing it and showing how to do it, etc. I also think it'll be an interesting experiment to see, okay, if we do things a really clean way, the white hat method, as some people might say, then will we still rank this website? And will it get clapped? And will it get a manual action penalty, even though we're building in public and trying to show people the things that Google typically likes to see? So the plan here is that we will create content for the website, some of it human, some of it AI, and we'll do a lot of manual editing along the way. And so we're gonna build this out. Now you might say, okay, but what niche are you gonna focus on? How are you gonna do the niche research, etc.?" So if you wanted to learn how to do SEO research for a new niche, I would highly recommend this video that I actually created five days ago, very powerful. It talks you through step-by-step -step the exact system. But what I would say here is that for me, I wanna create a website based on a proper business that's already converting. And then all I have to do is drive more traffic to that particular high converting funnel, right? So it's gonna be a new site built the ethical way. We're gonna focus on funnels that are already converting for me. And that's really the way you want to focus on because if, for example, we built out an affiliate marketing site, well, affiliate sites are getting hit. If we built out a website that was just making money through ads, I don't think it's providing much value. But if we have a proper brand like my agency, for example, and we generate more traffic to this particular funnel, then the project is going to provide a much bigger ROI. And I think that's the right thing to do in terms of brand. And plus, if I put my name on the website, we already have EAT in the industry. The one thing I will say here is, will it get clapped? This is a good experiment, right? So it's gonna be interesting to see whether the website receives a manual action penalty or not, just for building in public, even though we're trying to do the right things the right way with Google's guidelines, and we'll cover those in different videos. And you know, we're gonna be focusing on quality and steering people away from spamming and scaled content and doing things the right way. I have no attachment to that, right? It'd just be an interesting experiment. The thing I would say is that we'll be using new and creative workflows with AI to make the content even better. So I actually have zero attachment to the success of whether it ranks or not. This is just an experiment. Let's see what happens. Could be doing a live stream again where it gets clapped in like a year or so. I also think this is a good journey to share publicly, right? So I can inspire those, you know, if you did get hit or you did take a clap in or you're worried about your website getting hit, then this is gonna be an interesting journey to share in my video. So I'll be talking about link building, content creation, AI, keyword research, topical maps, everything else. And what we're going to avoid is mass publishing. We won't be doing that. We won't be doing the one take Drake's. Everything's going to be manually edited. I think that can be easily tracked in terms of, you know, Google's algorithm could probably just scrape the sitemap and see the content frequency, etc. And these are the other things that we're going to focus on, right? So we're going to make sure we fact check everything. We'll avoid low accuracy. There'll be a lot of effort inside the content. I'll talk about some interesting strategies to do that. And also all the content will be original and interesting. So this is going to be an interesting one, brand new site built in public. I'm excited to share it with you. If it gets clapped, it gets clapped. It's another thing to talk about on the channel. Either way, interesting times. So how are we going to start this off? What I'm going to do is because this project is about SEO and ranking with SEO, but it's also been started because of the whole situation. We're going to ask ChatGPT for some domain name ideas and just start building this website out in public. So. I'm going to say, give me some domain name ideas related to clapping, ranking, and SEO to chat GPT, and we'll get some domain name ideas from there. And I'll also start building this out into an SAP in case you or your team need a good system for finding domain names and setting up a website, etc. as well. So we've got a few ideas here. We've got Ovation SEO, not a big fan of that. Rankandclap.com. I like this one. 
SEO applause, clap for ranks. Okay. I think rank and clap SEO.com will be a great one. So now I'm going to go on to Cosmotown and buy the domain. Obviously, it's pretty cheap to buy on there. Uh, we'll check if it's available. Rank and clap SEO.com. There we go. $6.95. Absolute bargain. There we go. History in the making. We've got the domain purchased right there. Now I'm going to get it hosted on Easy Blog Networks, which has served me pretty well, actually. If I look at my private case studies in the background, actually just we've got a bunch of websites in the background, different IP addresses, etc. So I'm going to add the blog right now, which is rankandclapseo.com. And it's pretty nice as well. We can get the theme set up pretty quickly, etc. I'm actually going to totally change the design once we've set this up. But we'll go with a random theme, enable SSL, disallow comments, pingbacks, etc. Add the blank pages, add my plugins. We can add a bunch of more plugins if we want to, but I'm going to go with that for now. We'll add the blog and get this bad boy set up. Just need to add the name servers directly into the website as well. That's changing as you can see. And we are living the dream. And then I can just log into the website directly there. Might take a little while for the name servers to change, etc. But yeah, pretty much as simple as that, right? It took about a minute to set up a new brand new website, get the domain hosted. Add the ChatGPT website. I'm buying from Cosmotown because it's typically the cheapest place to buy from, honestly. And then Easy Blog Networks just because it's actually protected my site so far. Plus, I've got different IP addresses, different hosts, etc. for the websites. So today, we have talked through my plan for a new AI SEO website focusing more on quality rather than quantity. We'll talk about what we'll avoid and also the reasons why we're doing this. So I want to give more value in my videos. I want to show you some actionable stuff. I want to show you the results before and after. That'll be interesting as an experiment. This website could just not rank at all, get clapped soon. But why not show you what we're doing in public? We talked through the SAP and how to quickly set up a new website and then get that hosted with the theme and the design, etc. If you actually look at Google search guidance, I already covered this in my video yesterday, but you can see they do reward high quality content however it's produced. So what we're going to be doing in future workflows is focusing more on quality rather than quantity and showing you some crazy stuff that you can do with AI that I'm really excited to show you that just takes your content to a whole new level. Additionally, if you check out Google search quality rated guidelines, you can actually see how they talk about how effort is really important, right? So a lot of our workflows in the future are going to cover like how to combine human labor and the effort that humans can put in, but also create content that actually ranks and is useful for the user. Plus all the content is going to be manually edited using the checklist. So I'm going to keep developing and improving over time. So thanks so much for watching. That is pretty much it. if you want to get access to the SAP that we're going to do, and we'll actually put a new section inside my free SEO course links in the comments and description on building out this new website and ranking it and how we create content and how we leverage AI to actually create that content, to actually rank it and automate a lot of processes. I want to put that inside my free chat GPT SEO course. It's going to be a new category called the rank and clap project. It's called domain setup right there. And the SAP is inside the domain setup section in the video notes. And if you do want to get a free SEO strategy session about how to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO, feel free to book that in links in the comments and description. We'll basically give you an actionable game plan and a custom tailored plan. Plus, if you have ideas for workflows or stuff you want to see, let me know in the comment. As you know, from many videos in the past, we create them based on the comments and the questions that we get from this community. So appreciate you watching and I'll be updating you with more videos, tutorials, actionable strategies, etc. See you on the next one.